United States, British, and Italian flags fly as in the heart of Rome, General Clark and his commanders take control. Major General Grunther, French General Juin, Major General Truscott, Major General Keyes, General Mark Clark. Led by a military band, citizens of Rome organize welcoming ceremonies. After more than 20 years of fascism, they are free again. tear down anti-allied propaganda cartoons posted by the Germans. A former fascist official is taken through the streets under arrest. The crowd show their contempt. A grenade explodes in fascist police headquarters in the city. Mussolini's dreaded secret police had collaborated with the Nazis up to the liberation. From a balcony made famous by Mussolini, U.S. Sergeant John Vita imitates Il Duce before laughing crowds. army moves on in rapid pursuit of the enemy. Only necessary holding units are left in the city. But in Rome, eternal city, the Vatican bells of St. Peter's ring in peace. A huge crowd masses in the Vatican Plaza to hear Pope Pius XII speaking to Italians and Allied troops the day following Rome's liberation. 250,000 fill the square, a momentous occasion a symbol of the thanks which all free peoples feel for the deliverance of a great and historic city.